Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be opening once again the stationary subscription Your Creative Studio box. So let's jump right in. So like always I'll link the Your Creative Studio box in the description box below. I'm really excited to see what the theme is going to be today. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look, I've been waiting for this. When I first discovered this box, I saw this in the subscription and I was like, I need one of these and they finally have brought it back. <gasps> this makes me so happy. <laughs> All right, I'll do a close up. Oh my goodness, it is a mini traveler's notebook. I have been wanting one of these for so long. It's not actually the brand traveler's notebook, but it looks exactly the same, but miniature. Oh my goodness, this is the cutest thing in the world. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh, maybe I should do like a 30 day art journal miniature style. Do you know how I do my mini snail mail challenges? Imagine if I did, is there even 30 pages? Let me just check. Yeah, there's 15 on this side, so this should be 30 altogether. That would be such a fun challenge. Let me know in the comments below. Let me show you the real size traveler's notebook compared to this mini one. Look how cute. Okay, so I'll show you the size difference. So this is the regular size traveler's notebook and I have put a lot in there. So it's way bigger than my hand. <laughs> and then this one is like so teeny tiny compared. Okay, I need to get on with this video. I can't stop staring. Okay, that's adorable. Let's move on. This is gorgeous because they're, they're not really any bugs. They're like beautiful beetles. So I'll open that one up at the end and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all rolled out. But I think this would go gorgeous with botanical prints. So next we have this little booklet. And again, it's so teeny tiny and cute. I could actually use these pages for the tiny um, traveler's notebook. But it's kind of like advertising and like posters. And it kind of feels like vellum paper. Sorry if you can hear the noise in the background. I live right next to a construction site, so that's fun <laughs> when you're a filmmaker. This is so cute. Okay, I'll do a close up so you can see some of these cute designs. I love this so much. This would be perfect for journaling. So in the past, Your Creative Studio has created sticker sets, um, but it looks like they've actually created their own stamps. I'm not sure if this is their designs, um, but it does have like their writing and it says peel the individual stamp from backing, stick it onto acrylic block and then basically it just gives you tips for stamping. So yeah, I really like these and it might be their own designs. Oh, I just realised they actually have included a sticker sheet and again, it's the similar book design. So I think that they have designed these books for um, this theme, which actually, does it say what this theme is all about? Because it looks like this theme is all about writing, <laughs> like writing paper and books and little journals and things like that. So a cute little idea for a theme and yeah, I can't wait to use these adorable stickers. So I've just used the back of the sticker sheet to try to show you this charm because it's so small. I'm going to put it on my miniature um, traveler's notebook. But again, it's those stacks of books and I think it's their own design. So um, I think they might have actually made this one themselves as well. So that's really cool. I'll try to attach it. Let me see if I can attach it. I think it might be too big to attach it to the miniature traveler's notebook. So I might put it on my bigger one. So next we have this pad and again we usually get a nice paper pad in each pack for, well I use them for journaling, you could use them for collaging, mail art, really anything to do with any paper crafts. But they have like newspaper cutouts it looks like and ads throughout it, quotes from like books, it actually looks like it's a whole, whole bunch of like old books that have been like photocopied or something. There's even music paper in the back. So we've got some individual die cut stickers and they actually look a little bit like Happy Mail. See that one looks like a little envelope 
and male and it looks very like cottagecore themed like gardens so yeah I really really want to use this one in a beautiful woodland or cottagecore snail mail so I took this one out of its packaging and I think it's just loose papers I think I've actually had this one before because I remember these um, flowers here maybe there's like different types of these ones but again, these would be really great for collaging, art journaling. I could even use these papers if I do a 30-day miniature art journal. I could use these throughout that. So these say that they're transfer printing stickers. So they might be like the rub-on ones where you rub it on or it just could be normal stickers. I don't want to open this one up today. But as you can see, there's like a little um, like stamp. Do you know the stamp that you would get like at a post office? And then typewriter, is that ink? Oil? Typewriter oil. Oh, and then there's a typewriter on the back. Little bunny. It's very vintage looking, this one. We have another little washi tape. So I'll open that one up. So these ones, because they're so thin, they're really difficult to see on camera, but it's just a really pretty simple design. So lastly, we have the bigger pieces of paper at the bottom. These ones are a lot thicker, so they kind of feel like you could make, or even envelopes out of these, but you could, um, yeah, turn them into, actually, are these sticker papers? Oh my golly, golly goodness. This is so cool. These aren't regular papers. These are sticky papers. That's awesome. Cool. All right, I'll open up the beetle washi taper now and show you what the design is. Thank you. 